5-3-3-1-3-9. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of Nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosyl cobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. It's been neck and neck in polls uh, lately, a few weeks ago, a few points behind Cruz, and some polls Cruz is ahead, and some polls Trump's ahead. I know you're a straight shooter. I talked to you months ago, and you said Trump's got it everywhere but Iowa, uh, but I still think he's going to, you know, after that, get New Hampshire and other states, but 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 Iowa's the big one. Uh, has he narrowed uh, uh, that gap, or, or has he surpassed it from your political expertise running so many big elections? Very hard to say because the caucus is not a primary. In a primary, you just show up, you go into the machine or the or the booth, and you mark a ballot or you check off a name and you walk out. A caucus is very different. You've got to sit and listen to speeches for three hours, and then you vote by a show of hands. So this is very much an organizational exercise. I do know, and this is incredible, last night out of the phone bank in Des Moines, uh, as a random test, they called 1,000 Democrats. These are working class, white, working class, suburban Democrats. They asked them two questions. One, did you vote for Barack Obama? 90% said yes. When they asked them, would they come caucus for Donald Trump? Over 300 people said yes. Now, in Iowa, you can just show up at the polls and change your registration right then and there by signing a form and then vote for Donald Trump. This proves what I have been saying. He has crossover appeal in the general election. Uh, and to the extent that Iowa is up for grabs, and it is, it's very tight, uh, it could be swayed by an influx of conservative Democrats coming over to uh, make America great again. Clean, pure drinking water. You can't survive without it. But where do you get it? Alexa Pure Pro is a brand new groundbreaking gravity-fed water filtration system that is like no other. The Alexa Pure Pro transforms water from virtually any fresh source into clean, healthy drinking water, pairing the unprecedented superfiltration power of an all-new gravity block core with a hybrid chromatic shell. It removes up to 99.999% of impurities, including bacteria, viruses, fluoride, disinfectants, volatile organic contaminants, and hormones. Filter capacity up to 5,000 gallons, stainless steel construction, easy assembly, low maintenance, replacement filters are simple to install, and now, as part of an exclusive limited time introductory offer, you can save $20 off the retail price and get free shipping. This is a limited time offer, so order your unit today and receive free shipping and $20 off. Go to InfoWarsStore.com or call 888-253-3139. Six months free at PrisonPlanet.tv, but only for one more week. Next Monday, the special that only comes around once a year ends. In fact, we've never offered six months free before, but I really want to get more people to join and to be able to watch the nightly news, to see the live reports we do, the special reports, all my films, ebooks, and so much more. One person can share their membership with 20 people, and you are funding the absolute very leading edge, the vanguard 
of the resistance to the globalist operation on every front. We have to have our own platform that is harder for them to censor, harder for the system to shut down. PrisonPlanet.tv. We put out the daily radio show free with the video and audio feeds at InfoWars.com forward slash show. But it is the members that get the nightly news exclusively and first and the commercial free video podcasts and audio podcasts that are paying it forward and financing and helping so many other people see the truth when we put the videos on Facebook, YouTube, and it's PrisonPlanet.tv that finances so much of the cameras, the equipment, the crew. The reporters, you are becoming a PrisonPlanet.tv member. You get exclusive HD, higher quality, get it first. And then you can download it, share it with friends and family, share your passcode with them, your username. It's a win-win, and then you're helping finance to put it out for free to everybody. PrisonPlanet.tv. my friends in the audience and they become very famous and very rich come on diamond and silk get up here for a second diamond and silk these two are unbelievable <laughs> melania called me she said you know there's somebody that's so amazing come here you have to see this and i came and i watched these two incredible women these two beautiful women and they were going rap and back forth <laughs> I personally like them, uh, and, and whether they're right about Trump or not, it's good to see them energized politically and involve the political process because they say they never were before. I think they have some heckling going on here. Yeah, heckling. No, they're saying stump for the Trump. Is that what they're saying? No, I think this is an infiltration. Amazing. They must have let folks see. They just gave tickets to everybody. They didn't control it like Hillary would. Right. Well, that's how you get a real reaction. Those are actually Trump supporters, but some of them look like they weren't. Oh, well, you're always going to have some infiltrators. Yeah, I really believe if we took them into a room and just talked to them, it would be fine. Yeah. They'd understand. We want strength. We want good health care. We want protection. We want borders. We want the wall. We want the wall. <laughs> but, uh, We're going to make Mexico, Mexico pay, pay for it. If, if we could sit with them <laughs> for about 10 minutes, maybe, maybe they'd understand. Say hello. Hey, hey how y'all doing? Hi. <laughs> Trump knows exactly what he's doing, not a staged you know, debate. It really amazes this me is as big as Kennedy having makeup on when Nixon did in that first debate. Oh, well, yeah, they said he, uh, he looked sweating. weird. And yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, this is the fall of the mainstream media. W regardless what you think about Trump, you are witnessing what Drudge talked about in 1999 at the press club. Oh, Richard took a picture. Look at Richard. I love Richard. <laughs> a good creature. Richard's having a good time. I'll squeeze those cheeks. <laughs> Richard's doing a good job. You know, Richard's been working for InfoWars for 15 years. Oh, wow. No, it's that long. Yeah. Yeah, about 14, 15 years. Off and on, you know. For Donald J. Trump! I don't think he won that stump for the Trump. Yeah, me and Richard are good friends. Uh, he went back to Dallas to take care of his mom, but she broke her hip for a while. That's the guy I actually hang out with dinner with and stuff, so. Yeah. yeah he, good guy. He used to ride, drive your bus, didn't he? He's a very yeah. good human. I want to hang out with Jakari, but he's always busy. <laughs> We're going to start hanging out, aren't we, Jakari? We're going to start shooting. Start hanging out. Yeah, we'll shoot him. All right. <laughs> Me, you, and Tim Kennedy. You want to start shooting? Oh, yeah. Um, can I get the audio turned down just a little bit in my ear? A little loud. Yeah, it's I'll teleprompter you, I, free. I, I don't know where your controller is. I don't it's right? Uh, exactly. Was it something? Oh. They really have, they've become a sensation all, all over the place. All fairness, and they have so many feeds coming in. Oh, yeah. No, you're really right. They're doing it's a great just when I bet you on everyone think I'm being mean to them. We have an amazing. So I'm just getting that out. We're not. We just have to communicate with the crew. We need right. strong leadership. We need compassionate leadership. Grab at them. We have to take care of our health care. We have to take care of our borders. We have to make our military so strong, so big, so powerful that, that nobody This is what I don't like. It already is it. so big. Yeah, it's we already half the global budget. budget. Yeah, that's, yeah, another, more than that's another issue I have with Trump. He's always talking about rebuilding the military, as well as many other candidates. It's not just him. But he's, it's just pretty much a sideways saying that, yes, I'm going to feed into the military industrial complex. He needs to say we need human and we need ground troops, but we don't invade or attack people. But see, he's, he's wrong on huge, huge military. Then he's right about... Don't go into Syria, don't topple Assad, don't have war with Russia, don't back ISIS. He does these incredibly good things, and then he does that. What do you think, Jakari? Yeah, just what I was saying. You know, he does say things that I agree with you. I believe it was the last debate, maybe the day, 
debate before. He's talking about the situation with Assad and how that's being handled. He said we could have did a much better job spending that money here at home as opposed to the way things are going over there. But, you know, he wants to rebuild the mil or rebuild the military, I guess, is uh, the talking point for the GOP. We have the strongest military on the planet. They're just pandering to the military industrial complex, which Eisenhower warned us about. You know, I agree. I agree. And, and before we go back to Leanne and then David Knight and Joe Biggs and, and, and to McBreen, Let's let's go to Ted Cruz for a moment. We've we've not been giving the Fox uh, debate hosted by uh, Caitlyn Jenner. Uh, we have not been giving it any attention. Let's go ahead. Like, oh, Chris Christie. There, I, I watched the video of Senator Cruz. I watched this, the video of Senator Rubio. I heard what they said, and this is why you need to send someone from outside of Washington to Washington. I feel like <laughs> I feel like I need. I feel like I like need a Washington D English dictionary converter, right? I mean, so I far outside of Washington. All right, we'll go back when it's Ted Cruz. I wouldn't believe how far. Yeah, we're all outside of the establishment. Let me tell you, Chris Christie is the establishment. Okay? Yes, I agree. I mean, you agree with that? Uh, Leanne McAdoo, we're going to go back to Trump and then to uh, McBrain, who's chomping at the bed, obviously, in the Twitter room, but or the, or the tweeters room, as, as Perry would call it. On the Twitter. Your view, we're even not arguing, but debating during the break. You know about is Trump good? Is Trump bad? Look, we, we, at least we're debating. We know he's bringing in this populist movement. It was already there, but he's just ex is showing how huge it is. And, and so, well, you, you were even saying, look at David, let him talk. The knight saying at least there's this 19th century Americana protectionist view. Globalism is about screwing us over through global trade, one-sided deals. That's why the Bilderberg Group, who is our sworn enemy and is running things, is against Trump. So I just can't sit here on the sideline and be a purist and say he isn't perfect. I'm criticizing him. I'm trying to influence him. Mm -hmm. He's invited me up to dinner in New York and my son, and that's going to probably happen. So I'm going to go find out. But my God, don't we know Hillary? And yeah. don't we know Jabber Bad Nash? Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not debating that that's, one bit. That there is no debate there. <clears throat> So, yeah, and if it seems like he does sort of okay. have a few of talking points there, he gets the hint sometimes and pulls it back. And, and Leanne, I've been ranting tonight. That's what I do. You've got the floor. Tell us what else you think. Well, I mean, I think, you know, that's what a lot of people don't understand. We are not controlled here at InfoWars. We all have our own opinion, which is why you kind of see it all over the place, because we don't have some dark lord above us telling us what to think and say and feel. And, you know, I appreciate that. And, you know, you're not hiding and trying to show who you, oh, nobody should know who I care about or who I vote for. And I think that's, that's noble. I like that. People don't want t t this exactly. of non-biased news or. Remember just a few years ago, they'd all act like they were not biased when they're all biased. Yeah, yeah. when they're completely, and they had everyone fooled that, oh, this is the fair and balanced news. And no, oh, if you go to Fox News, it, they're all so bias i think david made an excellent point one time he said you show your bias by the stories you cover and the stories you don't cover mm -hmm. that alone shows your bias and we so cover liberty freedom private property homeschooling non-gmo medical freedom sovereignty uh religious freedom just bill of rights man we're not that weird we're just mainstream really but the globalists are so unmainstream. right i mean what is what is weird about wanting more of your taxes what what is weird about wanting to, be able to raise your own kids what is weird about wanting to defend yourself because we can't afford bodyguards? I mean, I'm upper middle class, but I've invested most of my money that a major talk show host would have for a helicopter or a big house to hire a bunch of reporters and build something bigger, which I is what we've did. done. But, 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 but I mean, most of the time, you know, you know, people just sit there and they go along with the system and they sell out. What were you saying, Jakari? I was just saying, I think he just finished his speech. Oh, that's not a good move. The, the, the other debate's going to be going for like an hour. He's got total control of the... Maybe he's going to drive his car over there and <laughs> pop up on the debate stage over at Fox he's News. He's going down into the media now <laughs> to take over every channel that's there, including Fox. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I bet say, money that's what he's doing. I say, cutting in, we have Donald Trump now. We need to go over to... <laughs> yeah, and I know I'm not going to Marco Rubio. I got a point I want to make, Alex. Yes, is this Kit Daniels? Yes, it is. Uh, that political article they just flashed on screen uh, claiming that Trump has a 19th century uh, interventionist policy or whatever it was. Let's not forget that the global elite, their foreign policy is dated back from the medieval times. I mean, I was reading that's yesterday. That's right, that's right, that's right. Yeah. We're the Renaissance. George Washington is the Renaissance in slavery, in empires, personal liberty. Didn't mean they'd done it then. Yeah. They were saying, we won't try. Right, and you know what? America did do a lot of that. And now we've become what was 5,000 years I mean, old. Right. So damn smart. I love my reporters. Yeah, I mean, I <laughs> well, appreciate the compliment. But yeah, it's like Jesus 21. All it is is neo-feudalism. 
And then I was reading yesterday on a, a battle that happened in Greece in like 1259. They were using deception, false flag attacks, whatnot. Same thing that's happening right now. Playbook. We don't yeah. want to be based on conquest. We want to be based on innovation. Jakari, I see you're chomping at the bit there. Oh, no, I was just, I was 